Have you guys ever seen somebody in a car with a mask on and the windows are up? If you are one of the subscribers, please just hit that unsubscribe button. I'm totally kidding, guys. It's your life. Live it. Don't hit that unsubscribe button. Keep watching my videos. I appreciate every single one of you for watching. What's up, everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be meeting up with my friend Wanderson and we're going to be doing a little bit of flounder fishing right off the seawall here. And uh, it's been a while, man, since I've caught a flounder. So switching gears, going back to flounder fishing because uh, flounder bite's been pretty good, man. So hopefully we get on them today. We'll see what happens. Waiting for my buddy Wanderson to show up right now and then uh, we're going to start fishing. Let's see what happens, man. Stay tuned. That tide's ripping out right now, man. So the bite is on. Oh, dang it, guys. That was, oh, he came, he got, he got, oh, came off again. He was right there. Oh my goodness. Let's see if he'll still hit it. Had a flounder on, man. It came off right here, right in front of my feet. I had him way out there, hit it, came off, and he hit it again. He's gotta be down there still. He has to be. Oh, man. It's gotta be more, it's gotta be more down here. I felt a little bit of weight on it and I just I just kept reeling. I, I should have set the hook on him. I had, a, I had a flounder on, bro. I lost him. He was probably 13 inches. He hit it. Yeah, I, I, I say work this whole... I say just work this whole area right here, man. There's one, baby. Set the hook on him. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's small. We'll let this guy go. He's he's probably a keeper, but we'll let him go. He's tiny. There's not much meat on him. First flounder of the day, baby. Yeah, that's 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 definitely uh probably 12 inches there. But we're gonna let him go. See, bud. Flatty. We want ones bigger than that, man. I'm out here with my buddy Wanderson. He's fishing over there behind the bush over there. <laughs> Flounder fishing today. All right, man. That was the first fish of the day. Um, we're just throwing the usual, the uh, Slayer paddle tail, three inch, rigged up with a quarter ounce jig head, 20 pound braid. I'm sorry, 20 pound flow carbon leader, 10 pound braid, 3000 size reel and a seven foot two medium action rod. That flounder hit it like right here, man. Wow, oh, look at that. Wanderson's got one. Yeah, that's the flounder we're looking for, man. You want to pick? You want a picture real quick? Here, let me let me get you a picture real quick. Awesome, man. Look at that, guys. That's what we came out here for, man. All right, man. Hopefully they're schooled up here. Yeah, that's a nice one my buddy caught, man. That happened so quick. Cause they're literally like hanging around the seawall, just literally right up against the seawall, man. I didn't even get a chance to film the fight. <laughs> the fight was like less than five seconds. All right, we're back in business. Let's go. All right, 20 pound leader, guys. Don't need, don't need that much when you're fishing for a uh, flounder. I'd even go as light as like 15. Come on, baby. Literally just working that bottom, man. Literally dragging that lure along the bottom, just popping it, reeling it, popping it. And hopefully it bounces on top of the flounder's head and he gets so pissed off that he just inhales it. There's a fish, baby. That's a nice one, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Let's go. That is a fatty. Look at that, guys. Had to get him up quick, man. Man, he freaking thumped it. Oh my god. Come here, buddy. 
Yes, baby. Solid flounder right there, man. Can't beat it. Let's throw this guy in the box. He hit it. Finally got him. That's a fatty, bro. All right. Probably around 14, man. Let's let's measure him. He's, he might be 15, actually. Let's measure this guy. Zero. Oh. Zero. 15. Called it. 15 and a half. That's a nice fish, guys. That is a nice fish. All right. Yeah. Flounder fishing. Can't beat it, man. Especially on artificials. We're gonna go back to that spot and hopefully catch a few more. That's gonna make some good dinner, guys. They are on fire right now. Highly recommend you guys to come out here and try this. It's so much fun. So this is the smoke and mullet color right there. That's the color I've been using for flounder. Slayer, man, can't go wrong with the Slayer lures. I'm sure any other lures will work too, but this works for me, so I don't, I'm not gonna switch it. Some guys might like gulp, you know, but I personally like the Slayers. It's been working for me, like I said. All right, looks good to me right there. Let's try to get on some more. That was a nice one, man. I think they're schooling up like right in front of me. Just letting it sink all the way down to the bottom, man. And that tide, that tide's really ripping. It's ripping out right now, so I think when that tide started changing, that's when uh, they started biting. Literally just popping it along the bottom, man. Oh, there's another bite. There's another one. There's another bite, man. I think they're schooling up over there, to be honest. Yeah, baby, look at that. That's a decent one right there, baby. Let's go. Woo! Hit it on the drop, baby. Yo, definitely a keeper. That's a fatty, man. Oh my God, let's get a measurement on this guy. Ah, uh, he's, he's decent, he's 14 and a half. That's a nice fatty, man. We might need to get some ice soon, man. I know, huh? All right, let's, uh, let's try to get on some more, man. He hit it on the drop. That was so sick. All right, man, that's a wrap for me. I hope you guys like this little short segment of a uh, flounder fishing video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.